All right, guys. Here's what I got. Okay. Told you I'd make a video. So here's my module. Two pin soldered. Let's see if we can get it to focus on it. It don't like it. Anyways. Should be the second pin. Or first pin there. And then. Of course the second pin there. Anyways I made it to where I could. Tie it. Untie it. I took a fan connector. Off an old. You know, chipset fan or whatever the hell it was out of a PC. Strip the ends on it. That way it's on there. And then if you hang on a second. You take this off. Of course, get it on it doesn't want to come off there. Alright. Just take that off. I have that. Sorry for the shitty light, but I have that pin soldered in between to that, that one part over jumping to the number eight. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be shielded there. It doesn't give a shit, to be honest, but I soldered it anyways because these should be double-sided boards and... If you hold them up to the light, eh, you can't see with this anyways, but if you hold them up to the light, you ain't going to see nothing, you know, go into a trace or anything. You're just kind of like there to hold it for the most part. So anyways, back to what we were doing. Also, I decided to use a nine volt battery instead of some shitty three double A's that I soldered together in a crappy fashion. To give me less than 5 volts. This thing's pushing out. It's like brand new. So it was like 10.28. Obviously this thing doesn't give a shit. So. Because it worked fine. When I tested it before. Remember this one's already programmed. So. The commands will come through. But. You know. I'll, I'll do a rundown. How the commands are supposed to be. But anyways. Hooked up to the serial port. Got a raw serial, real term. There's the settings. I've got 115 too, like I said, because mine's already programmed. Should start out at 9600, then flip the 115 to if you want to program it later. Because once it programs, I believe it switches over instantly. Um, I may be wrong on that. This is my first try on this shit too. So, either way, um, oh here. Let's show you what it does anyways. It's got kind of sitting here in a ghetto fashion. But it works. So. Function, not form, right? <laughs> anyways. Uh, bastard. Sorry guys, hang on a second. Alright, blinking light, powered up, obviously. Okay, you're not going to see anything on this damn terminal once you power these up. And usually once you power them up, I've got, you got to paste the commands to it because it needs that shit fast. So, copy, and then real term needs a control L V. It doesn't want to see. It's finicky, man. But if you if you paste it and hit OK, enter fast enough, it will get an OK. That's AT OK. You want to set the name? You know, I'm setting mine to Mega Squirt. So you just do AT Mega Squirt. Bam. We're just gonna paste that. Hit OK. See, it didn't like it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. They're shitty. What do you want for Chinese crap, right? Let's clear it. And then we'll open and close it again. 
I'm not sure what's going on there. It looks like it already it was I already programmed it with that anyways. So let's see AT plus uh, broad equal eight, I believe, right? Was it baud eight? No, no equal. Anyways. Copy that. This will set your serial port to what speed it needs to be. I'm pretty sure that's because it's already programmed. So. Alright, so the baud and all that shit's set. Okay. I know it is. It will let go and okay. Obviously, we saw it did with the AT. So, you don't have to do an AT. I didn't when I first did this shit. See if it's still working. Yeah. Uh, well, either way, we took the commands. I know that for a fact because it's already programmed, but you should see an OK afterwards. Take it off in here. Unhook your jumper. Obviously, my solder joint didn't stay very long. Might have to retouch that real quick. But. Either way, yeah, it kind of pulled away from it. Oops. <laughs> I don't care. They're 15 bucks. Whatever. Anyways, um, so you should be able to hook up with this, and it should work. Either way, once you just plug it into the Mega Squirt, it needs to be on MS2. I know it needs to be, you know, 115. 200 um, MS3 not really sure I haven't worked with one yet but that's really all you need to do to program it if you got questions just ask later